So check it out. In today's review, we're gonna be looking at the TomTok Navigator Travel Backpack 40 liter. I think it's got a decent look. YKK, super smooth. Feels good, squishy, super impressive comfort of these shoulder straps. But on the negative side, this brand has been exploding recently and this bag especially is sort of like a budget friendly travel pack. So we're gonna break it down and see if it lives up to the hype. But if it doesn't for you, then you're gonna wanna stick around to the end of this video where I'll make some alternative travel pack recommendations for bags that might better suit your needs. You, me, review desk, let's go. Okay, let's talk about the gist of the Navigator T66 backpack. About a year ago, I had never even heard of TomTalk. And now like their content and influencer game is really on point. And it's kind of enabled them to really blow up over the past few months. But I like what they're doing because having reviewed tons of everyday carry and travel backpacks, one of my recurring points of like, with this industry is there's like a lack of budget options and good budget options. There's always like, you know, the cheap travel backpack that you can buy, but they were never solid. And TomTalk is kind of working on changing that. I think they did a pretty good job. Not perfectly, but pretty good. Some of the top features. I actually think for a budget bag, it's got a kind of cool, mean aesthetic. Compression straps, so you can reduce the size of the bag, which is ideal for budget travel. A clamshell suitcase style opening. A quick access front pocket. Dual water bottle holders. A clamshell style opening tech compartment that also gives you access to the main compartment and really beefy and comfy shoulder straps. The TomTalk Navigator currently comes in two color options, black and gray. Now the capacity is advertised as 40 liters, which in my opinion is the perfect size for mid to longer term travel. For me, I can do like a weekend trip on a 20 to 30 liter, no problemo. But if I really got a lot of gear to bring, tech gear, packing cubes, winter clothes, 40 liters, a better choice, but this thing does not feel like a full 40 liters to me. In fact, so much so that when I got the bag, I emailed TomTalk and asked them, and I even asked them to like re-measure it for me. And they said that the main compartment is 37 liters. <sighs> Maybe, but it's a tight 37 liters. So it's something to keep in mind. The dimensions are around 21 inches height, 15 inches width. And when it's fully packed out, you'll have around six and a half inches of depth. The weight is not specified on the website, which I hate, but worry not, I have a scale. We're looking at 2.9 pounds. This is the bag when it's empty, and this is the bag when it's fully packed out. For reference, I'm five foot eight, and our media manager, Margaret, is five foot two. And I'm gonna pack this bag out throughout the entire video so you can see exactly what it fits. TomTalk products come with a two year warranty, but you do need to register your product to get that warranty. And with all that considered, the TomTalk T66 Navigator runs around 80 US dollars which is definitely its biggest selling point is just, you know, it's a budget-friendly backpack. And if at any point in this review, you're like, that budget-friendly backpack is in my budget. And I'm totally gonna get one. And you're gonna make a purchase. We do ask that you do so using the first link in the description below. Reason being that link makes sure that you get the best price. And we oftentimes have discount codes. And that link also helps to support the Nomads Nation YouTube channel and team so we can keep making the best bag reviews on the web. Thank you very much. All right, let's talk about the front of the TomTalk Navigator T66 40 liter. The branding is a bit louder and cheaper than I might prefer on a travel bag, but you know, at the end of the day, you get what you pay for, right? It's in line with the price point. But one thing which I think is quite good for the price point is this fabric, which is basically like a 1680D ballistic nylon. And TomTalk claims that it's 100% recycled. In fact, they claim with each bag you buy, it's 30 recycled water bottles per bag. I'm not good at like double checking these things. I never know if a company's greenwashing or not, but let's hope that's the truth because you know, Planet Earth. And taking a closer look, Ballistic Nylon is a gorgeous weave. In fact, it's a fabric that was originally invented or used by the army due to just how just abrasion resistant and how durable it is. And it's also got a really nice shine to it. So it looks premium and it's known for not really catching hair that bad or dirt that kind of just slides right off. And I know what you might be thinking, this dude's got magnifying glasses and f scales. What a backpack nerd, am I right? Well, it's true. Other way. Well, it's true. I am a backpack. Oh, wait. I... Well, it's true. Got it that time. 
I am a backpack nerd. And in fact, I don't know if you know this, but I'm such a backpack nerd that not only do I review all the world's best backpacks, but I'm also building my own world-class backpack. And I'm documenting the entire process here on the Nomads Nation YouTube channel. So if you wanna see the process of building a game-changing backpack from the ground up, and you wanna help vote on some of the key features, be sure to check out the second link in the description below. That link will show you where we are in the building a backpack project and how you can get involved. I hope to see you in your inbox. Back to this guy. And one thing to note on the materials, we have this primary material, and then this little flap right here is a different material, a bit smoother to the touch, and in my opinion, kind of adds to the bag's smart, modern aesthetic. Let's talk quick access. Because one thing I'm not gonna be crazy about this bag, which I'll talk about, is how these compression straps um, compromise access to the main compartment. Because I love quick access, because I'm lazy. Tom talks like, dude, I got your back. We got a quick access pocket right here. There's no additional organization in this pocket, just sort of a throw all, and it's about yay big. For me, due to the nature of this pocket, I'm gonna throw some things in there that I want quicker access to. Case in point, my Sony XMH5 headphones. You can see, fit in nicely. And just to give you an idea of the capacity, you can also, let's see, can you fit a sweater in there as well? Yeah, not really. Okay, so now we, we've pushed the pocket as far as it can go. Now you know that it's overhead headphone size, but not hoodie sized. Zip it up. One thing too about zipping it up is this bag features YKK zippers, which at the price point is awesome. Let us now discuss the middle of the TomTalk T66 Navigator Travel Laptop Backpack 40 liter. Starting on the sides, we got two things that a lot of backpacks, modern travel backpacks are sort of leaving in the dust behind it. That's external water bottle holders. External water bottle holders for me, they're not a must have on a travel backpack, but let's be honest, they're just so useful. They're useful for water bottles. Let's see which ones fit. I got a 17 ounce Lark. And a one ounce Yeti. 17 ounce Lark, let's put you on this side. Nice. And the one ounce Yeti, I don't feel as confident about this one. Ooh, a little bit of a tight fit, a very tight fit, but um, you know, it's, uh, it's there. These are not super deep water bottle pockets. The height is just about six cm. So it doesn't feel like super secure to me in there. But one nice thing that you can do is you got these compression straps. You can go ahead and throw the compression strap over the water bottle, tighten it, and it stays in place significantly better. Speaking of compression straps, let's chat about them. So, you know, every airline's got its own specifications. You gotta compress bags to kind of get into those specifications. And those compression straps will help with that. But on the negative side, as you can see, I wanna get into the main compartment right here. And when those compression straps are buckled in, it compromises access to that main compartment. So you just gotta kind of build the habit to do one of these and boom, that gets you in the bag, or AKA the black hole. Because one thing to note about bags in this price range is they all usually use black lining in the interior, which is fine, quite good, because it's less likely to get dirty. But then on the inside, it just kind of got this black hole effect, which makes it harder to find your gear. Usually higher price point bags have a lighter interior lining, something like this, which just helps to create a little bit of light at the end of that tunnel. This bag also has like this little flappy thing in here as well, which I have no idea what this is for. If you have an idea what this is for, please let me know in the comments below. Look at this thing. It's like, what do you do? Yeah, I guess this sort of adds some structure to the bottom of the bag. If you want it to self stand a little bit better and then you can collapse it, therefore making the bag collapsible. Am I right? Let me hear what you gotta say in the comments below. And let me know if you like it. I don't know if I like it. I don't hate it. I'm just, you know, it's weird. But one thing I do like is the fact that in this main compartment, there's no other organization. I don't need pockets inside the main compartment of my travel pack. Too many pockets. I just want to throw crap in there. So let's throw some crap in there. Let's say we're doing a little weekend trip. I got a hoodie, dop kit, packing cube with a week's worth of clothes. Another packing cube with, a, you know, underwear, socks, all that jazz. A tech pouch for all my tech goods. And that's kind of like the, the necessities for travel. Let's kind of gauge it and see how this 40 liter backpack can handle it. So the packing cube in there first. This is from Air, one of my favorite packing cubes out there. Throw that at the bottom. My second packing cube, also from Air, at the top. This is the Alpaca Tech Pouch, one of my favorites. I think it should fit there. Kinda, sorta, yeah, yeah, we're making moves. Dop kit on the top. Shove my hoodie in there. And let's see if it can close, which I think it will. Oh yeah, piece of cake. I still stand by what I say as to where I don't think this is a 40, 38 liter backpack. It packs more like a 34, 35 liter, I'd say. I'd definitely be able to fit a little bit more than that in a 40 liter bag. So really important to keep in mind. It Maybe it's 38 liters, but it, it packs tight. Sometimes bags pack tight, even if they're actually the liters that they're advertised to be. And then you can see, and let's test these compression straps so you can kind of get an idea of what you can do with them. I mean, it's not gonna make the bag like as flat as a pancake, but 
it will give you a couple inches and you can see that is thinner than it was before. Now let's talk about the tech compartment because it's really interesting. It's a clamshell style opening, which you don't see a lot these days and I really appreciate. On one side, you have this access to the main compartment, which is just really spiffy and nice to have. And then below it, we have a little storage area, mesh pocket. For me, since it's kind of like the tech area, I'm gonna go ahead and throw an external battery in there and a small tripod. And then on the other side, we have the actual laptop area. Now it says that it can fit up to a 17 inch laptop, which is awesome. Not very many bags can do that. But keep in mind that if you have a smaller laptop, like my 13 inch MacBook Pro, it's gonna kind of get swallowed in there a little bit. The black hole of the laptop compartment. Not in a way that's terrible. It still feels pretty secure there, especially with this Velcro strap. You also have the second compartment, which is great for an iPad, although it doesn't specify on the website what size iPad. And I don't have an iPad, so I can't help you there, sorry. And at the price point, we got some decent padding, especially on the back, a little bit on the front here. We also got a little bit of a false bottom, so the laptop compartment stops right there, meaning if you drop the bag, it's less likely to damage your laptop. And you can see we close it on up. Very nice. Two more parts for this chapter. Top handle, I like it. Beefy, enough room to grab. Nice materials on the bottom, feels good, squishy. It's just a good top handle. And then finally, we got this quick access pocket at the top of the bag which for me is an ideal location for Missanis. You go ahead and throw those in there. Zip it closed, YKK, super smooth. Nice. Okay, let's talk about the backside of the TomTalk Navigator T66 Travel Laptop Backpack 40 liter. You have a long name. First up, remember I was talking about how much I love this top handle? Absolutely none of that applies to this side handle. I don't even know the point. I mean, I guess like, you know, you got a little point of leverage, it just kind of helps to have something to grab. You know, especially when you're throwing the bag in the overhead bin overhead of you. So this gives you kind of a little maneuverability, but it's just some basic nylon webbing. It's kind of functional, but ugh. I gotta remember, it's an $80 bag. It's an $80 bag, it's okay. On the shoulder straps, you have this external lash point right here. Great for hanging things on, like your sunglasses, but I will say it is a little too high on the bag. So the sunglasses are kind of like awkwardly placed. A little bit lower, we have this adjustable sternum strap. These things are miracle savers, miracle workers, not miracle savers, miracle workers uh, for your back, right? Because it helps to redistribute the weight of the bag towards like your chest and less towards your lower back, which gives you a healthy, happier body. These plastic buckles are not name brand. I would have preferred to see like Duraflex or Woojin make these. But on the bright side, TomTalk was nice enough to give us a little dangle stopper, AKA a web holder, AKA, I hate dangle. And it's like TomTalk could hear my prayers and made sure that we did not have any dangle to have to deal with. And then before we talk about the comfort, we have a luggage pass-through holder right here. But one thing to note is that if you do pair this with a suitcase, you gotta throw it on that trolley handle this way, right? So the bag is sideways. Now for the comfort, I'm about to take this bag outside and really give it a test run and see how comfy it is. But I will say, I suspect it's gonna be great because these shoulder straps, they're nice, man. Love the padding, love the material. The back panel itself, I wish had a bit more structure. Let's see what outside Aaron thinks of the bag after walking around with it fully loaded for 20 minutes. Outside Aaron, go. So listen, I'm not gonna lie, for an $80 backpack, the comfort's really impressive. And that comes down to the padding on these shoulder straps. Honestly, kind of reminds me of Air. I call it the Air mattress experience. But you just got really nice cushioning. This material, this fabric, really well ventilated. And just overall, like, it feels nice. Shoulder straps are the right size. You got the sternum strap for a bit of extra comfort and stability on the torso. At the price point, I am like really surprised at how comfortable this bag is. Okay, let's talk about the pros and the cons of the TomTalk Navigator T66 Travel Laptop Backpack 40 liter. Pro number one, I think it's got a decent look for the price point. Pro number two is the super impressive comfort of these shoulder straps. And pro number three, I know for some of y'all out there, dual external water bottle holders is going to be just what the doctor ordered. Because doctors like hydration. Do you see what I did there? No, you didn't like it? Well, you know what? There's some things I don't like about this bag too. <laughs> And I'm gonna tell you what they are, here I go. Con number one is gonna be that these compression straps do compromise the accessibility into the main compartment. Con number two is while I do like the water bottle holders, they're, they're a little small. I could have appreciated maybe a bit more depth to them. And con number three, holy moly, it's a black hole in there. Can't see anything. But if you're still here and you're like, Aaron, context, those cons are there, but it's an 80 freaking dollar bag and it's great for the price. I'm gonna be like, I, I can't disagree with that at all. This thing's pretty impressive. And if you agree, and you're gonna make a purchase, just a reminder that we do ask that you do so using the first link in the description below. 
It just makes sure you get the best price and it also helps support our channel, which we greatly appreciate. Thank you. But maybe you're not quite sold. I promised you some alternative recommendations. Let's go talk about them. All right, so you're not quite sold on this guy. Let me give you some of them alternative recommendations. The first of which is going to be this one right here, which is the Matian travel backpack. This is for you if you're like, dude, 80 bucks, a bit too much. I am on like a micro budget. I think the Matian's like 40 USD. It's got some really cool features and like 8,000 five-star reviews on Amazon. And to learn more about this backpack, take a look at the description below to find more information. Alternative recommendation. Numero dos is gonna be this guy, which is the Amazon Basic Travel Backpack. This is for you if yet again, you're trying to cut down that cost from 80 to 90 USD to like 40 to 50 USD. And also if you have Amazon Prime, this should be free shipping. Amazon put together a pretty decent budget-friendly travel bag. And we did a full epic review of this pack, which if you're interested in watching, you can locate by navigating on down to the description below. And finally, my third alternative suggestion is going to be the NAC pack. Now this is the NAC pack small, but we did a review on the NAC pack medium. But regardless, it's like, this is for you if you're like, you know what, maybe I can splurge a little bit more. I'm not trying to throw like three, 400 bucks on a bag, but like a buck 50, I could be talked into it if it's worth it. In my opinion, the NAC pack is worth it. Tons of cool features, really nice materials. And to find out why I'm suggesting it, just watch this video right here. If you got any questions about any of the bags that we talked about today, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Aaron. This is Nomads Nation, and we'll catch you next time.